constantly hit by typhoons. We have earthquakes. We have vol active volcanoes. These are our risks, and the more we need to practice disaster risk reduction management. If we really can work together, we might be able to do our part and plan on specific programs that uh, can offer to, to the community. It allowed them to have an idea of uh, really their participation is very vital and uh, gives them self-esteem of being listened to, no? rather than uh, being passive uh, recipients of uh, support. The Philippines is one of the most hazard-prone countries in the world, facing fires, typhoons, landslides, floods, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, terrorism, and insurgency. The question then here is, what needs to be done? The main idea now comes from Republic Act 10121, which provides for the release of funds not only for disaster response, but more importantly for disaster preparedness, both by government and other DRRM actors. So when disaster strikes, they, they automatically see the importance of disaster risk reduction management. But when disaster is not there, or what we call peacetime, they don't see that they could be doing so many actions, so many um, implementations that could mitigate the effect of disaster when it comes in. As a result of this, there are still those who are more reactive than proactive, only in regard to DRR after a disaster. The task then is clear. Get people to plan for reducing risks and ensuring they are capable of doing so. This gave birth to the blended learning approach to strengthen DRRM or BLAST DRRM, a condensed and customized course civil society organization personnel can take almost anywhere. The method here combines online and face-to-face -face components. For the online training, all it needs is a smartphone with an internet connection or a computer. We didn't completely separate what is online and what is face-to-face. -face. We, made, we made it into blended in the sense that what, you, what you're doing online will also be doing it face-to-face. -face. We have a digitized course for you, we have a gamified course for you. So if they haven't taken the online course, they would be more interested in taking it now after the face-to-face -face session. They would realize that, wow, this is what technology can do to us. Here, technology is meant to be experienced so that it can be shared with a wider CSO community. It makes the people more participative, and through learning, they realize, uh, through games rather, they realize and uh, better internalize the concepts that are being taught. The outcome? Very interactive ang content, no? May video, may pictures, merong mga quiz, merong mga question and answers. Then, hindi kailangan i-type mo yung text. Pili-pili ka lang, multiple choice, or drag yung pictures. So, mas interactive siya. Madaling... I think the, the advantage of uh, having or going through this uh, training with BLAST, it has given me the theoretical information as well as uh, ideas on cases that were presented from, from the real situation. It will enable me to evaluate if I am really doing it right. Also help, help and guide me in uh, doing better. The gamified aspect of BLAST DRRM is perhaps its most unique feature, pushing the idea that learning DRRM need not be made too theoretical and concept-heavy for it to be effective. In addition, it built on learners' inherent competitiveness and made this something positive through an emphasis on team collaboration, competition, and gamification, learners were motivated to actively participate. The idea of collaboration is crucial here, as it has been observed to be absent or insufficient in past experiences in disaster response. By design, the learners were mixed, so that the spirit of collaboration and openness could be built even among those from different organizations. 
Learners felt that they were part of a bigger team, working towards disaster risk reduction and management, something quite necessary in real-life situations, and unfortunately, found to be lacking in numerous past experiences. While there are many more aspects of DRRM that need to be addressed, and this condensed course cannot cover everything, the partnership of Code NGO and the Humanitarian Leadership Academy through the BLAST DRRM course proves that innovation and learning has its place in disaster risk reduction and management.